right, in, right. in three months. Uh, and you're like, you know but what? You know what, Wolf? You're I, right. I would say, <laughs> gonna get real cheesy. Now. Wouldn't Bayonetta be more like a dark type? Like that, 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 that would I mean, be not very effective, man. I mean, you're right. All right, so we're gonna right. go. Speaking of Pokemon, we're gonna go on to this game one here with Venya versus Marth of Mr. E. Um, you know, Venya was saying that he thinks that Greninja doesn't have a problem with these sorties at all. And also, dash attack and down tilt being very strong, if not better, than the Smash 4 iteration. Mm -hmm. And Venya with, uh, you know, known for being a tricky Greninja in Smash Ooh. 4. And with all the movement options now, it's only it's only going to get worse, to be Absolutely. honest. Absolutely. Exactly. <laughs> you know, being able to, you have to abuse movement in this game. Kind of like Mr. E's doing right now, outspacing Venya. Yeah, doing no, a great sure. job of keeping him away. And a lot of people do think that Marth actually has, like, you know, he's, he's gotten up because of it. He's a lot, you know, he, he's definitely faster. And... That spacing is a problem. Mm -hmm. As you're seeing right there, you know, Venya opting to just challenge him. Goes off stage and goes for that fair. You can't air dodge air, you would have died. And that's great knowledge of where uh, Mr. U was going to go from Venya. For sure. And that is, <laughs> that's Venya being Venya, but because of the caliber, we have an even match. And we're back to Smash 4 rule set with two stocks. <laughs> I, I, yeah, and, and right at six minutes too. How about that? Oh wow, <laughs> wow! Look at that. Some people want the game back. Well, too bad. <laughs> All right, we're back onto this one though, and we're on Smashville as well. It's like we're taking a leap back in time. I hate the stage so much. Though. I, me too. Because that platform is just there. No, you know, you know why I just like this? It's because we got all this great music, and we're still listening to this right now. Yeah, uh, yeah, you're not wrong. All right, but again though, Mr. E was doing great job of spacing him before. Gets the read that time. He starts to rack it back up, and, hey, even and that's gets the what you need. Nipper as the well. The thing is. Teching is also different in this game. The, 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 the timing is a bit different. Uh -huh. um, it's harder to do. Uh, and that's why you have to be so precise. And the thing is that if you don't tech in this game, you're going to get bodied. Exactly. You know, when your defensive uh, you know, your oh. defensive options are so poor, kind of like just now where he got caught on the air dodge, you, it's really bad when you get caught with those tech chase situations and giving up the free damage. And Mr. E was taking really great pressure and punishing that. For sure. Now, look at Venya just... <laughs> I like just it. Just slowly creeping up on, on Mr. E. Mm -hmm. And he noticed. He's like, you know what? I'm at my last stock right now. I, like... I'm a madman. <laughs> I, I like but it because he's slowing the pace of the game down where Mr. E was catching when he was trying to be too aggressive. And now he's trying to find an opening where Mr. E is coming in. He was attempting to go for there. I think he's trying to fish for a parry, but it has not been able to get it. Mm -hmm. Mr. E just fading back, continuing to do what he was doing before. He has a lead. There's no point to have to approach. Oh, no, yeah, for sure. At this point, it's just like, you know what? I'm going to build up extra credit. If I can take the stock, I can take it. But if I don't, well, guess what? You're at 100% by the time I die anyway. Mr. E getting stage positioning again. Doing oh, a, oh, that he, directional angle. Oh, oh, the boop. Okay. I thought Mr. E actually was the one that foot stole him, and we were going to another game. Fourth throw, not going to take it, as well as Shuriken not close enough. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> did that up it? Did that up he get up or something? Because that definitely didn't go that far before. No, no. I, <laughs> he came back from changed. the death to hell. I Just guess. like Venya with the tech. I thought that Nero was about to kill for a second. Mr. E opting to go high. He is forcing his position where he has to go a little low. And actually, it, I swear he, to God, if that Hydro Pump somehow booped him up. <laughs> yeah, see, no, but hey, you know, yeah. we, were, we were giving proof. It didn't go any higher. It, it, was, it was still a little bit too up. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now Venny is going to have to do something crazy to actually bring it back because Marth <laughs> being so strong with his aerials and the dash. Ooh, I like it. Now, notice the micro spacing by Mr. E. He's, he actually. Thought of Venya's fair. Mm -hmm. Venya came up with the fair. And answering and him what the literally missed him by a hair. Yeah. And I think that that is the type of awareness that you must have if you want to be a high to top level player. Mm -hmm. The micro spacing on that was immaculate. Exactly. You know, also being at 0%, it's it's usually a free punish when you go for a missed Dolphin Slash. It's going to happen most of the time. But. Because he had ledge, if he missed, unless Venya all of a sudden got, ledge, yeah, yeah, unless he all of a sudden got on stage very, very fast and hydro pumped him, he wasn't gonna die. Yeah. Now so you now, don't have that platform. I'm sorry. Oh no, it's fine. <laughs> but now you don't have that annoying ass platform right there in the in the middle of the stage. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we can do on FT. Venya's counter pick, so let's so he probably he definitely feels more comfortable on this one. I like it because it gives him a little bit more room to work with where you know Mr. E was keeping him contained. And also there's nowhere that Mr. E can escape to. Now, granted, similar thing for Greninja, but he has these stall options where he can get out of disadvantages on sooner, but the dying tipper. at 57% to Tipper. It is not gonna matter if you can't land when you get hit by that. Oh yeah, and that's so scary. Mr. E's got to be feeling himself uh, now after that. You oh, know? yeah, I mean, <laughs> why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. 
All right, but the thing is, here's the thing. Mr. E hasn't changed up his game plan since day one. He went into this game not changing up, like, his style. He's like, you know, I'm going to play this. This is definitely working. Because, you know, if it works, you know, I... Why change it? Exactly. It is, it's like you said before. I oh, like good. it. The bait, the air dodge bait, yeah. Like you said before, though, but the fact that Mr. E has really been kind of also almost personally buffed with the way that the movement works in this game. Like, oh, yeah. he knows that people can air dodge out of him a bunch, and he spaces out perfectly, punishing when people overexert aggression. Kind of like Vendia trying to get off the sledge right now. For sure. Just look just look at that. Covering so much with that with that ball in the air and the fair. And <laughs> but Venya actually you know sneaks his way to the What? It gets he sneaks his way on stage. Now Venya finally able to get him back in. Now this is potential area for a kill throw, but he's gonna opt to just run and get the dash attack guarantee it. Doesn't hit with the fairs, Mr. E. Okay, miss Forward throw. Uh, forward throw kill, kill throw. Okay. okay, yeah. But, you know, Mr. E at 0%, Venya at 112, so... I wonder if Greninja's up throw actually still kills. I might, I might be completely wrong on that. Because um, I assumed that he would have just gone for that. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I'm like, does up throw not work anymore? Like, mm. I'm going to have to ask him afterwards. There's still so much... 70 plus characters. There's still so much we all have there's to learn. There's not enough characters in this game. Oh, my God. All right, Venya is trying to get disgusting over here. Yeah, oh. Trying to dig deep to catch him. If he caught him after that jump, he would have evened it back up. Eek. And or you actually know, took the lead. Yeah, but me. the thing is that you kind of need to because if you're at 133 against Mr. E's mark, like, and he's only at 52, if you get the chance to kill him, you have to do it. Exactly. Change the entire pace of the match on because Mr. E, again, is boxing him out from a perfect distance. Mm -hmm. And if maybe you can force him to go aggressive, he might be able to, like, reset this game. Yeah, no, and that's how I, I, I feel like that's, that's one of the things that... Benyon loves to do. He loves to make people stop playing their game and start playing his. Mr. E's gonna, uh, no, not up throw, not yet. Yeah, up throw, actually, if, if that feels potentially weaker. Uh, yeah, but, but I mean, it still does, it still does kill eventually. Yeah. I mean, I know it does from Lucina, so I don't. I do like the idea of just, no, it definitely will kill, but opting not to stale it in the fair, actually not gonna take the kill. Benyon oh, starting to reset Mr. this. E to air dodge, but not actually capitalizing on this. All right, here we go. 116 to 168, both of these. Catches him on the air dodge frame trap. There's nothing he could have done there oh. unless he decided to air dodge back in, but Venya could have reacted, and that's going to end up putting him on the board. All right, but and this match is insane, man. This is absolutely amazing gameplay for coming in for both of these guys. 126-man bracket today. Both of them want a piece of that pot. And as you can see, the adjustments from Venya coming in this, he does not want to drop this right now. You know, he's playing. He he is adapting. He, he's, he's doing the macro spacing. And he's getting a little bit trickier in terms of how he approaches Mr. E. You know, he's like, you know what? I'm getting stuffed out every single time that I try, <laughs> I try and approach. Let me see what works, you know? And we're seeing right. right here, just completely different change of pace. The side B only putting on a little bit of damage. However, that is his jump, and he gets in with the side B. Mr. Uh, Mr. E actually jumping back from his seat there. Yeah. All right, up. <laughs> just, just fair him straight in his face. And now up smash no. is what? actually going to take it down All to right. that's up smash still here. working. Yeah, no, for sure. I just didn't know how strong it was here. My God. Remember the remember the days of anything or any time Greninja would kill? It had to be nerfed on 3DS, no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> so I wonder, guys, since it's so early in this game, will they attack Greninja already? Guys, Sheik is the best character in Smash 4. We got enough Greninja. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, like that's, that's really how yo, it was. Like, Smash for Diddy, Nerf Greninja, say no more. <laughs> yo, hoo-ha kills at 60, yo, Nerf Greninja. Yo, there's a, there's a landing light glitch where you can auto-cancel with bombs or peach turnips. All right, we'll get rid of that. But also, Nerf Greninja. <laughs> yeah, that's, what? That really was how it was. Really, it really is how it was. Yeah, that, like, that, was that was back in but, the beginning but, days of that. That was so funny to watch. But if you're Mr. E and you you know, you know lost a game right now that, you know, you it looked like you were you were the clear mm -hmm. you were the clear winner. How would you feel? I, I was I, I was gonna say I assume that he goes to platforms because there was he was doing a good job of boxing him, but at the end of that, Greninja was able to start finding his way in and really really change the pace of the game. Not tri plats by any means, but maybe you know a double platform. Yeah, There's no, no right, DR we star here, but we're gonna go to Omega Hi, uh, the, the Hyrule Tower. I this, can't remember off the top of my head what it is. This is the Breath of the Wild thing. Yes. By the way, look at this amazing scenery. You have the entire game in the background. It looks so beautiful. I uh, kind of like this match here, but I just love how how much detail they put into this game. But that, that, that all aside, back into this. this Venya, 10 to 91, taking a huge lead on Mystery right now. But I do... I. 
I have to say, I don't agree with uh, Mr. E picking that on a, 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 a final destination stage again. Um, I do think that a, a platform definitely would have benefited him, especially due to the nature of his character, but Venya does not care. Getting that forward air, and now Venya just has a lead, and he can kind of just run away with this one. And this all pretty much started back when Venya started to slow it down a little bit on FD and rack up that quick damage and take over what Mr. E could not do in sealing out that second stock. Man. And now we're seeing this kind of continue in that same pace here. And how the tides have turned over here. And now Mr. E is going to have to, he's going to have to get this quickly because Venya is getting this extra credit. Yeah, this is derailing a little bit quickly. However, again, three stock meta, there's still plenty of time to adjust. We've seen quite a few comebacks yes. from not just one stock, from being behind uh, like this today. Now notice, one, one key difference that I'd like to point out is that uh, Mr. E was catching every time Benya jumped off stage. And, oh, well, there you go. But he switched it up now, but Benya was recovering even higher mm -hmm. purposely so Mr. E wouldn't catch his jump. Oh, this is oh. a bad spot. Ooh, but luckily, almost he catches the jump. Yeah, if he caught that jump, he could have gotten back quick enough to maybe punish him with a down air on the up B. But Venya, now all of a sudden, dealing with Mr. E, kind of renewed, finding his way to continue to trap him at the ledge. But there you go. Like you said, he was recovering really high to avoid yeah. getting hit. And that's and that and that is one one adaptation that he definitely that he definitely had to make. Sorry, getting dancing blade over here. It's mm -hmm. fine. Because, you know, it's, the match is pr still pretty even. <laughs> Mr. E going for the attempted Dolphin Slash to try and force the tech situation, but Venya able to get back through. And spot dodging, but Mr. E just waiting it out. Now we're seeing Mr. E play the pace of the game that he wants again. And yeah, for sure. And this is this is what I'm saying. Like he, at, you know, last game, Venya was uh, successful in, make, in making Mr. E switch his game plan. Mm -hmm. And now it's quite the opposite. God damn! Yeah, until that point, <laughs> <laughs> until that point right there, uh, you know, Venya able to seal it out yet again. That's something that over the last two games he's been able to do more consistently than Mr. E. He takes first, he takes the blood first. Yeah, so. yeah, and and that's you know, I mean, as Marth, you know, if it's not a tipper, it's got to be a tipper aerial, and that's one of the things that you know Marth sort of struggles in. Like he has to keep you at a certain distance in order to actually you know. exactly. That's what we're seeing. Like what, what we saw from Koga before. A lot of players have been opting to go Lucina, whereas they used to go with Marth. Yeah, I know that Mr. E actually j did go Lucina for the majority of Smash Four towards the end. Uh, that, so. Yeah, but I think because it's so early, I approve of the fact that you know what this game is renewed. We Try to find a way to roots. solve it, like with that Nair there, and all Beautiful of a sudden we're back catch. to last stop. Both of them trying to find, regain their footing. Mr. E putting on 20%. Yeah, no, this, ooh! All right. Catching him with that fair. Not often the, uh, the spot dodge in place, just back off. Smart move from Does not get the air dodge, though? All right, and this is, I feel it. This is going to go down on the wire. Catching oh, him with the fair. Is that going to kill? No, no, it is no, not. No, 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 no. Right, oh he, no, he has no jump! Yeah, he was forced to recover high. Venya potentially could have gone after him, but Optin just stay grounded instead. Oh, oh look at that! Venya just not even doing anything, just dash dancing in his face. Mm -hmm. And you were seeing that Venya trying to bait out a bad defensive option so he could catch him with maybe a jump. Catch him with an air, but doesn't punish. But the air dodge back in, he's gonna get punished. He does. Venya takes it over Mr. E in what really was a nail biter. Like Absolutely. That, and as you see right here, you know, Venya was trying to find a way to punish him there. And Mr. E could have air dodged off the stage, potentially. But you freak out in that type of situation. It's very, very scary to see Greninja there. But with all that end lag, he gets the free punish of the S smash. Man, and no. Greninja Especially being so with, fast. The, with the directional air dodge end lag. It's, it's, and that's, that's, that's practically it. 